Welcome to this week's Sunday School Storytime with Susanna. Thanks for joining me this week. As you know, this month we're talking about communities living together. Remember, a community is any group of people who share something in common. So you probably have many different types of community in your life. Your family community, your school community, your church community, the community around where you live, the community of Rochester, and many other different communities. This week, we're focusing on Communities Love. The Bible reading for this week is from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 13. This week, the Bible verses that I'm reading come from both the Book for Children and the Deep Blue Bible Storybook. Love, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 13. Paul continued teaching the people in Corinth through his letter. He wrote, if I don't have love, I'm like a clanging gong or a clashing cymbal. If I know everything, but I don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give away everything that I have, but I don't have love, it doesn't make any difference. I could speak the languages of people and angels, but without love, it would just sound like loud noise. I could know all there is to know, but without love, I would be nothing. Love is so important. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious. Love doesn't brag. Love isn't rude. Love does not ma demand its own way. Love is not grumpy. Love doesn't hold a grudge. And love will hardly even notice when others do wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but love rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never fails. Love trusts, love hopes, and love endures. When everything else goes away, three things are still there. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these three is love. In this letter, Paul tells us that love should be at the center of every community's thoughts and actions. Love is an important part of any Christian's life, perhaps the most important part. Remember in the letter when Paul said that between faith, hope, and love, love is the most important? Why do you think that is? I think it's because we would have nothing without love. God's love gave us Jesus. God's love created us. And God's love gave us everything that we have. God's love claims us and through us reaches out to others. We who have been loved by God can honor that love by sharing it. If we think about everything that we've been talking about this month, communities living together, we've talked about how communities need foundation, and that foundation is God. We've talked about how communities should treat each other when we learned about the golden rule. We talked about who is my community when we learned about the Good Samaritan. And now we're talking about how communities can love. Remember that everything we've learned this month all boils down to love. When you think about God as our foundation, God is the strongest thing we have because of God's love for us. When we talk about treating others as we want to be treated, we could also say love others as we want to be loved. By treating them as we want to be treated, we are showing them love. And the story of the Good Samaritan teaches us that we should love everyone, even people we don't know very well and people we might not get along with. They all deserve our love. So this week we're learning about what is love? Well, Paul's letter tells us that love is patient, love is kind, love is truthful, love is tolerant and accepting of all peoples, love is forgiving, love is not boastful or jealous, irritable, rude, or unforgiving. So it's very important to remember that when we love people, we need to be patient and kind. We need to be truthful and respectful. Now we won't always be like that all of the time, but it's a good reminder that that's how God wants us to show love to others. So how exactly do we go about showing this love to others? We can show love by talking to people, by listening to them, by helping them, by sharing our time, our love, and our energy with them. We can show love by treating others how we want to be treated. In fact, when we're doing that, we are showing God's love to all of God's people. So remember, love is patient, love is kind. Love is forgiving. 
Love is not boastful, rude, or arrogant. And of faith, hope, and love, the greatest of these is love. For this week's craft idea, we're making this Love is Mobile. What you'll need is you'll need a hanger. I use a plastic hanger, but you can also use a metal hanger. In fact, it might be a little bit easier if you use a metal hanger. You'll need paper of some kind. I use colored cardstock, but you can use any paper that you have. You'll need some scissors, a hole punch, and then some ribbon and string. And last, you'll need some markers, stickers, crayons to decorate your mobile. So you're gonna need a full sheet of paper, which you're gonna fold in half long ways. And this paper is gonna cover up the bottom part of the hanger. So you're gonna wanna fold it in half and you're gonna wanna write love is, and then 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses one through 13. Then you can decorate this paper however you'd like. I just drew a couple hearts. You can use stickers, you can do whatever um, represents love to you. Once you've done that, you're going to cut a slit right in the middle of the paper and that slit is where you're gonna put the hanger through. So you'll see, I had my paper, I folded it in half, I decorated both sides of it, and then I cut it right here so I could slip the hanger through. So once you've created this half sheet of paper, you're gonna work on creating your hearts. So you're gonna wanna cut out some hearts out of paper. I like color, so I used a bunch of different colored paper. Um, I made them about this side. They can be a little bit smaller or bigger. I probably wouldn't go too much bigger or too much smaller. Um, and so you're gonna cut out your hearts and then you're gonna write different phrases from Paul's letter to, to the Corinthians that explain what love is. The phrases that I chose were patient, kind, happy with the truth, forgiving, never ending, and enduring. You can use any of the phrases from Paul's letter in which he describes what love is. So once you've cut out your hearts and written your phrases, now you're gonna to wanna to write your phrases on both sides because as a mobile, you don't know which side is gonna be showing when it's hanging up. Then you're gonna to wanna to punch holes at the top of your hearts. And you're gonna to wanna to cut out some string. Now I used ribbon like you use for wrapping a present. You could use twine or any other type of uh, string or ribbon that you have at home. You're gonna tie it to the heart at the bottom and then you're gonna tie it to the hanger at the top. Now this is where having a metal hanger that has the rod at the bottom might be easier. Might be easier to tie onto the hanger on that metal rod. It was a little bit difficult on this plastic hanger and they tend to fall off, they slide off a little bit. But I use this hook that they have to help keep them on and I had to tie them um, around a couple times so I didn't just do one knot, I did a knot and then I looped it over again and did another knot. So once you've tied your hearts here and tied them up here, you're ready for the last step and that is to slide your half paper back on your mobile. So you're gonna do that. And here you have a reminder of what Paul tells us that love is. So this is this week's craft idea. Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for showing us love through Jesus. Help us remember to love our neighbor with kindness, respect, without jealousy, without being rude, without being irritable. Please help us remember to be forgiving. Help us remember that love rejoices in the truth. And help us remember that love is enduring and never ending. God, help us to show love to our neighbor at all times. And please bless us with love in return. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this week's Sunday School Storytime with Susanna. Have a blessed week.